Today we compare the cheap G-Made GSO2, the expensive Traxxas TRX4 2021 Bronco and the even more expensive low center gravity crawler and see how they compare in the real world and figure out which one is right for you. Coming up. Welcome back to the channel. I'm currently in my sixth week of quarantine. That's right, six weeks, and I'm going a little bit loopy. Before I entered this quarantine period, I did manage to go out and review the Traxxas 2021 Bronco TRX4. It was loads of fun, I went over all its specs and gave you my full thoughts on it, so be sure to go check out that video after this one. Now this is a long video, so if you just wanna know which one is best, that would be the low center of gravity. Go for that one, but it is the most expensive. Second best is the Traxxas TRX4, performs really well, and it looks the part. And then the third, which is still pretty good is the G-Made. So there, you don't have to watch the whole video, but if you wanna know why I think that, and if the low center gravity is worth the extra money over the G-Made, then you don't have to watch this video to the end. Now we're gonna rank these out in the real world, and the way we're gonna do that is, each time they pass a challenge successfully in one attempt, it will get one point. If it takes more than one attempt, or it has to use the winch, it will get half a point. If it can't complete the challenge at all, it gets zero points. Now with that being said, let's jump out into the real world and test these RC cars out side by side. Oh, and I do have a brand new car to show you guys, but we'll check that out later in the video. Would you believe me if I told you that I drove this TRX4 up that vertical? Would you believe it? Here we are at the beginning of our adventure with Steven who's hiding his filthy cigarette and Luke, first time seen on the channel. I'm from South Africa, kind of been living in Hong Kong for about five years and I've been uh, crawling now for a few months and I love it, yeah. Quick introduction from Steven. Member of the RC Expats Hong Kong. Remember to check in our channel as well. His channel will be linked below. So I'll quickly show you the cars. Bronco. Remember man, I'm just a rookie. I don't know much about crawling. One modification, we do have the winch on there. This is actually a ready to run G-Made GSO2 chassis. All I've actually done to it is plonked a Proline body on there with some accessories. You can see the sound module. Very annoying engine noise. All magnet clips, yeah, all magnet oh, clips. Yep, just plonk it on there, it'll find its way. Luke is actually an expert crawler. He's been doing it for many years. First time I've ever seen a low center gravity crawler and I can only imagine it's gonna perform really well. So this is actually my ghetto, my call it my ghetto rig. Just kind of put together some spare parts lying around. As you can see, everything's mounted as low as possible down to the axles uh, to try and keep all that weight as low and also as forward as possible. Running boom boom racing fat axles and a 3D printed gearbox. As you can see also a Holmes Hobby servo SV500 I think. Just designed to climb and crawl. Obviously you want to try and keep your weight as far forward as possible. Well, you, not as far forward but you want to try and get a good 60-40 Split brass. brass, yeah, brass, and then also I've got brass rings on the inside of the wheel. Proline Super Swampers, Three Brothers RC, they make a foam called anti foam, so it's actually 3D printed rubber, you can say. So it hides, it holds that um, sidewall really well. It allows the tire to really conform, as you can see, it's really squishy. And we're going to have a bunch of epic challenges on the way as well. Steven said that I'm one of the world's worst crawlers. This is literally the first time turning this car on. Hope it works. We are good to go. Man, look at mine's a beast. Three, go. See that? Oh, look at mine's, this mine's dominating. What's going on here? Let's have a quick look at these turning circles with the ready to run Bronco. It's pretty tight, eh? It's open diffs. Now let's see. Oh, yours might be tighter. What do you reckon? That's pretty close. Well, it's pretty close, isn't it? I would say it's actually pretty much, what do you reckon? All pretty much the same? You're gonna quit crawling because that does better than that? If or because I do better than you? <laughs> I think I'll sell all my LCGs and I'll just buy an RTL. First challenge, up this rocky section. The low center gravity is going first. Mine's coming up behind. Surely it's gonna be no problem for you. So everything's locked. And low gear. Maximize torque. Like if I focus on the car, not the filming, it's a lot easier. Piece of cake for Stephen. Piece of cake for Joe too. Isn't that right, Stephen? <laughs> I just realized I've been in high gear this whole time. So now let's see how truly capable this T-Rex Forest. Now we've got a bit of a downhill slope here. And Luke has just told me that if at any point he can't do something and I can, he's gonna give me a low center of gravity. I see car. <laughs> he's gonna give me the chassis. No, I want the whole thing, man. Radio, lipo included, please. 
I want it to be ready to run. Next challenge is up these little stairs. <laughs> this is like a rock bouncer now. Oh. <laughs> I think you've got it. Let's see how the Bronco does. Low gear. I made sure this time. Lock diffs. And I'm gonna try and take this angle. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we did it, we did it. Can he get up this step? Can he do it? Oh no! <laughs> Steven, I thought, uh, this is the guy that tells me how bad I am. You got it, you got it? Give it beans. <laughs> and that's why you spend that little bit extra money for the T-Rex 4. How are those magnetic clips going for your body? Oh, the back of your body's flopping around, man. Were those magnet clips uh, modifi mo modifications you did, or is that how it comes? South mod. Hmm. It does make the truck look nicer. Yes, give up. <laughs> Gives up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's the man? I'm the man. Next challenge, another rocky slope. Steven's gonna try and take the lead here. He's been struggling today, failing two of the challenges so far, but it looks like he's got this one under control. Good job. And a low center of gravity, it's gonna have no problem. No problem whatsoever. Too easy, that was way too easy for you. And the Bronco, don't worry. We got it. What's going on here? What's going on? Why am I slipping? I don't know, what, what's going on? Need a little bit of, there we go. There we go, there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. No wait, what are you thinking Steven? What are you thinking? Could your one go up there, you reckon? No, it's very dusty. Ooh, oh, ooh, <laughs> for a second. This guy was freaking out. All right, Bronco's up first. Lock diffs, low speed. That's what I was worried about, man. That part there's steeper than 45 for sure. Oh, 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 yes, we did it. Could be no problem for Luke and there's low center of gravity. Oh, that was way too easy, mate. That was just insane. Now we've got Steven, he's sweating. Can he do it? Remember, this is the guy that goes on about how bad I am. Oh. <laughs> Give you another shot down his line. See, I don't even look for lines, I just drive it up. Oh, oh, he's got it. He's got it. On his second attempt though, but he did it. Congratulations, Stephen. It looked better, it looked better. <laughs> it did look better on that second That's go. Right. Now we're going straight down. This looks crazy, man. Dude, that sounds insane. So, sounds like it's about to go like warp speed or something. <laughs> that noise it makes. Well done. You're gonna go full speed and just jump it. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of doing. <laughs> Magnetic clips, man. Do not recommend. Oh, baby. Let's go. That is how we do it, Stephen. You might need to go up and then I winch onto you. This guy's going to do it so easily. It is very steep. It's slippery, it's slippery yeah. It's slippery. If I had... There we go. Good job. What a beast. What a beast. Now's the time. We winched up by this low center of gravity. Let's see if this works. It's doing it. Can it do it? I need help it as well at the same time, don't I? Yeah, you give gas, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, this is so hard to film and do all this at one time. Oh, that's cool. Yes. I need to let some slack out. There we go. There we go. Oh, the man. It literally took half a day. Now, Stephen, I might need to winch you up, but let's see if we can do it first. This has been the most difficult part today. Oh, there we go. Hey, the body stayed on. Oh, no way. No way that just happened. I told you, this thing crawls. <laughs> I'm impressed and I'm also impressed by your skill. That's some good skill you have there, Stephen. It took you like five seconds. It took me like one hour with the wind. Oh. <laughs> the nose. Oh yes, that was decent. Oh no, the body. Oh, we're good, we're good. We landed. The rule is you're not allowed to stop and you're gonna see you can crawl the slowest. Go. Come on, you gotta actually go. Come on, that's cheating. I haven't stopped yet. I think you're already disqualified, Stephen. You keep stopping. Oh, look how slow the Bronco's going. That's like barely moving. Yeah, you're not even moving forward, just so you know. Not slow <laughs> just in case, he's moving so slow, you can't even see it with the naked eye. I would say, actually, I can crawl as slow as that. That is all on cruise control, man. No hands. 
This makes filming so much easier. I'm gonna go high gear so we can boost it. <laughs> oh, here we go. No. Here we go. Come on. Oh, it's too easy. What are you on about, Luke? That was easy peasy. Oh, I don't know about this one. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Nice. <laughs> I'm going for an impossible line here. I oh, know, here we go. Yeah, there, oh, there we go, there we go. We good, we good. Uh, yes, thank God I didn't come last. That's what I was worried about, even as G made. Here we go. I've got to tell you, this place is pretty epic for crawling. Oh, nice, Stephen's up. Luke's away. Disaster! Stephen's body's coming off. Ah, Stephen's body! Nicely done. Yeah, I don't know if I've got any hope. Winch it up. Winch yes. It out, winch it up. <laughs> yeah, when in doubt, winch it out. Yeah. yeah, boy. I wouldn't mind winching you up, you know, since I needed it. <laughs> oh, oh, no way. No way he's gonna do it. Oh, that was so close. There's some skill, man. Oh, no, Stephen, you were doing so well. When in doubt, winch him out. That means I'm gonna have to. Turn around. <laughs> oh, bro, I got it, I got it. I got this, bro. Da right, now let's winch you up. Oh, there we go. Oh. Give some slack and then back it up. Oh, no, no, no. We good? So that was impressive. If I can get up, this is like the best thing I've ever done with crawling. Nice. It looks so cool, doesn't it? Man. Dude, that is the coolest thing ever. Because the, what, the body fell off? <laughs> Low standard gravity crawling is like, just a completely different game. Dude, but also you're very skilled. No way your thing's gonna make it and mine's not. It's not possible. <laughs> How's that body? <laughs> Chassis might. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna roll here. I'll give it a go. No. Oh, yes. Did you see that? Did you see that? They just did something really cool. You boil the tires, eh? Oh, I made it too. I made it too. All of us made it. Oh, uh, we can do it, man. We're going to try. Let me just get up to where you are. Steven, he got up, but does that count? Does that count? Magnetic clips, man. So we've just taken it from sports mode and now it's in uh, crawler mode. You get 100% break at neutral. But I probably should have been on yeah. this whole entire time. <laughs> oh, dude. That view is epic. Very steep here. Yeah, I know, but I'm sh sure you can do it. <laughs> this could be a tricky part. Or will it be for Luke? I don't know. It might be easy for him. He's finding a different line. Man, look at that. Nice, nicely done. Now yeah, Stephen's coming up. Nicely done. No, 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 no. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Could have been disastrous. Oh yeah, of course T-Rex Ball can do it, man. Easy. And cruise control. Oh, look at that, low center gravity. G-made, body's coming off. Low center gravity, no problem, man. That is the trend with today, that thing is a beast. Too easy. Back into low gear. He's revving, he's revving. 
Oh, his body falls off, TRX4 doesn't flinch. <laughs> yeah, so I reckon stronger magnets are what you need, Stephen. Finding it very hard, he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it with the G-Made. Give up, give up. Or the Bronco do it, let's have a look. Oh man, look at that. That was sweet. <laughs> come on, come on! Uh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, finally. It was on the edge of the T-Rex Sports capability. Now watch this thing go over through here. <laughs> it took me so long and you did that in 10 seconds. How's the G-Mate going? How many hands have got have you used now? Uh, Lost count. <laughs> oh, that's a cool line. Can he do it though? I wasn't using drag brake for most of this day, right? Low center of gravity, just dominating it like it's nothing. Oh man, that's crazy. Nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, beauty. Yeah, my, oh, let's see if I can get up this part here. The winch in action here, man. Can he do it for G-Made? Yes, he can. Wow, your G-Made did, that's quite steep, this part. Yours did it quite well. There we go. Someone's house up here. They've got the meanest view you could possibly ask for. Are you trying to get up that vertical to the pipe? Yeah. No way, dude. No way. <laughs> what on earth? And you made that look easy. What a beast. Can the TX4 do it? There's no way, Steven. Dude, dude, that's insane. Even getting out that part's impressive for me. Yeah, yeah, no, straight up. Oh my goodness. There's no way I'm getting up here, surely. Just sort of flick it. Oh, 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 here we go. Just to give you guys an idea of how steep that is. I don't know if you can see on the camera. That's insane. Swing it around, yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 Oh man, if this works. Don't run too much because that's going to flip you over. Servers out. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 guys, guys. No way, come on. Oh, man. Oh, dude, no way. There's no way. I've just leveled up 1000 if I get this up. Back it up. Yep. Dude, what the? I did not think I was going to be able to do this. This took me so long, I don't know if I can put this in a YouTube video. People won't watch. This is the biggest highlight for me, for sure, today. Oh, bro. Bro, there was no way I was gonna get out of that. From up here, through that part, up here, that's just 90 degrees, that's just vertical. Getting in that crack and getting up. It's just unreal. Before we get to the final results, a quick reminder, I'm gonna have all these cars linked in the description down below if you do wanna go check them out. For the final tally of all the points, coming in at first place, no surprises, is the low center gravity RC crawler, and that completed all the challenges in its very first attempt, picking up 14 points. Coming in at second place is the Traxxas TRX4 with a very respectable 12 points and coming in at third place is the G-Made coming in with seven and a half points. Now I think that these points perfectly reflect how capable they are with the low center gravity the best, the G-Made being the worst and those points I think work out pretty much bang on the money. Now if you want the best of the best, the most performance, you're not too concerned about scale looks and you don't care about the price, then the low center gravity would be the one for you. If you're on a budget, but you still want something that's reasonably capable whilst looking pretty scale, then go for the G-Made. Just don't go for those magnet uh, body clips. And finally, if you want something that's in the middle there in terms of price, it's more on the higher end, it's 
incredibly durable, it's very capable, and it also looks pretty scale. And my personal pick would be the T-Rex for 2021 Bronco. It's just a beast, and there are so many optional hop-ups you can buy for it as well. There are also hop-ups for the G-Mate, and of course, the low and gravity crawler. That was pretty much completely custom made. But that's just my opinion based off my experience with these cars. I did drive the low center gravity and the G made off camera so I did get a feel for both of those too. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Which one do you like the look of and which one is on your wish list? Now I did say at the beginning of the video that I did pick up a brand new crawler and here it is. This is the SCX24 uh, from Axial, it looks pretty sweet. We've already got one of these, but it's not this body, so I'm interested to see how this one performs. I'm gonna be taking this out very soon once I get out of quarantine. So if you don't wanna miss when I take this out for its first run and review it, be sure to subscribe. Actually, I'm gonna probably run it tomorrow indoors first because I mean, this is pretty perfect for quarantine. And for those of you that are in Hong Kong, quarantine seems to be staying here forever. So definitely recommend picking up one of these. Don't forget thumbs if you liked the video, subs if you loved it. I'm Joe, I'm an RC Kiwi, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.